Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today's topic is Hello Chat GPT. Can you backtest strategy for me? Hello everyone, my name is Radon Vodko, I'm CEO and Head of Research at uh, Quantpedia. Today we will discuss artificial intelligence, the tools related to artificial intelligence and what the impact of those tools on uh, quantitative trading and algorithmic trading. I do not need to introduce you to ChatGPT. Of course, everybody knows what ChatGPT is. At the beginning of the year 2023, the new ChatGPT 4 model was introduced and it sparked creativity wave among the people who are doing, I mean, any creative occupation. There is no surprise that the GPT model was started to use for trading or stock trading, etc. Et In March 2023, we also tried to push GPT and uh, try out where are the boundaries of the two. So we try to use the chat GPT and backtest the trading strategy. In this case, it was asset allocation strategy based on uh, inverse volatility. That's what we tried in uh, March 2023. We were not exactly successful. Chat GPT was uh, great in giving us ideas for uh, ways where to move with our strategy, but it was not able to backtest that strategy. We were stuck. Right now it's October, so six, seven months is a really, really long time in IT. It means there are some new developments in chat GPT, new developments in artificial intelligence, etc., etc. Et we are quite far from the march and we decided to try it once again. Can we force the chat GPT to back the strategy for us? That's the question that we asked a week ago. And uh, this video is about what are the results. Firstly, a uh, very quick introduction. Of course, there are some data in chat GPT we can access, but uh, firstly, we try to build some benchmark strategy so we can compare what this chat GPT giving us as a result of the backtest to what we did. So we downloaded data from our finance, used the adjusted close data they take please and dividend into account and we download the data for SPI, for US equities and for gold in the form of GDD ETF. When we wanted AI to backtest the simple risk parity based allocation, investment universe consists of SPI and gold ETFs. The first thing we wanted to assign 50% weight to each ETF, rebalance it monthly so we have equally weighted benchmark asset allocation and then we wanted AI to build a better asset allocation strategy than equally weighted so we omit part of the data set the first year and we let AI suggest the better weighting method and then we picked inverse volatility weighted risk parity method. If you are interested in this risk parity method, you can ask the GPT or you can read our article related to risk parity asset allocation. I mean, we have a really long article related to that uh, with examples. So we then let AI to use past 12 months data to calculate the volatility of each ETF and we calculated the weight of each ETF in the portfolio for the next month based on the inverse of the volatility and then we performed the backtest. That's what we did. So we calculated this in Excel. It's a very, very simple simple calculation and we used it as a benchmark so we calculated what are the statistics what is the performance what is the sharp ratio volatility etc etc the question is how we can do the same backtest in chat gpt so how we can backtest asset allocation strategy or i don't know any other strategy in chat gpt the first very interesting thing that was introduced in uh, late march 2023 so it was after the euro article are the plugins. So the plugins are third party applications that you can use in OpenAI. OpenAI doesn't control them, but they connect to ChatGPT as a, an external app application. ChatGPT automatically chooses the when to use the plugin during the conversation, or you can just ask ChatGPT, hello ChatGPT, please use this and this plugin. For something like that, you, you need to have a premium account and under the premium account, you have a plugins and you can select which plugin you are interested to see. So there is a significant plugin store with uh, hundreds of plugins that you can choose from. We used some of them and we tested them. So I will just very quickly go what are probably the most useful for somebody who is trying to backtest the strategy or is building a trading strategy. So we tried the Polygon plugin. Polygon is a company that provides data and the Polygon plugins also brings market data, news, fundamental data for stocks, options, Forex, etc. into ChatGPT. So that's a very great plugin because you can get uh, good quality data directly into ChatGPT. Then there are Savvy Trader AI that also has a data and a status fund finance. It's a financial tool for analyzing equities, price quotes, and calculate moving averages, uh, indicators, etc, etc. And then we have a few other plugins that are not exactly so good as the first three that we mentioned. So we worked mainly with the Polygon, Savvy Trader AI, and uh, Statis Fund Finance. So we will not put all of the parts of the conversation into the article because the article will be bloated. I will just show you a few of the examples. Here is the transcript of the conversation. So we tried to force the ChatGPT to give us the data. The ChatGPT used the plugin to uh, obtain the data, so that was very good. And then we asked ChatGPT to calculate the volatility of the underlying ETFs. We were struggling a little with the results, so afterward we were able to find a prompt that was successful to calculate the past volatility for each ETF. 
and then we try to force the ChatGPT to use the past volatility to calculate the future next month weights for EGTF in our asset allocation strategy. So that's like using the past volatility as a very simple trading indicator, our trading decisions based on that. After a few tries, we were able to force ChatGPT to use the past volatility to build simple trading strategy that invests into both ETFs, into Spider and Gold based on the inverse past volatility. So that was great. And then we tried to force the plugin to do visualization. Unfortunately, it's the bump in the road. With the plugins, we were able to obtain the very good data. We were able to backtest the strategy. Uh, we were able to get the statistics, what the performance, what the volatility, etc., etc. So the table with the results would be at the end, but we were not able to plot the chart. We just had the data in the form of table or results in the form of the table. Uh, that's not exactly what we wanted. So we tried another thing. So there is something called advanced data analysis. Uh, formerly, it was known code interpreter in uh, ChatGPT. So once again, I will show it to you. So I will turn off the plugins. And when you go here, you have an advanced data analysis. You can access this tool in ChatGPT only when you have a premium account. Still under development, but it's an experimental ChatGPT model that use Python and it can handle uploads, downloads, and can work as a Python interpreter in the sandboxed uh, firewall execution environment. You also have some disk space. So there are obviously constraints. The session cannot be live for a long time, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So do not have access to a lot of the memory. So the tool has a lot of advantages, but some disadvantages. I mean, the biggest advantages that at the moment you can run so when you are using the advanced data analysis, you can run Python scripts or you can ask JGPT to suggest a Python script. And then you can run that Python script directly from the ChatGPT environment. So you do not need to copy paste the Python scripts from ChatGPT to your Python environment or whatever. You can directly ask JGPT to run the script for you and give you the results. So I mean, that's very, very great. It really helps in a data analysis. What we tried, so we uploaded the data from Yahoo Finance. So in this case, we used our own data. So we did not ask plugins to give us the data but we have with our own data and then we undergo the same process so we ask the gpt to give us the calculation for inverse volatility we ask the gpt to do the calculation for the inverse volatility on uh, both etfs and then back to the strategy it worked very well and then we asked the gpt to plot the equity curve for us using the math plot library in python and the uh, gpt was able to produce a working code it ran the code calculated the results and even plot the results. So that's, I mean, very, very great result. Let's have a quick conclusion and comparison at the moment. There are multiple things that we tried. So we tried Microsoft Excel calculation. So this is as a benchmark to see what are the differences between what we calculated and what are the results from ChatGPT. Then we tried in our past blog to force ChatGPT 3.5, so the older version of ChatGPT, six months ago, to come up with the equilibrated trading strategy for Golden's SPI and we compared what are the results. We can see that the performance was plus or minus the same, but compared to manual Excel calculation, the older ChatGPT was not able to replicate the results uh, very well compared to our benchmark. So uh, yeah, ChatGPT gave you uh, in the past some results when you try to force it to back to the strategy for you, but they were not good. Then it tried ChatGPT4 with the plugins. We got the performance, we got the volatility, we got the sharp ratio. The results are not exactly in line with our backtest, but they are much, much better than a uh, compared to the old ChatGPT 3.5 without plugins. So there are some differences. We didn't dig deeper. What are the differences between the Excel and between the ChatGPT? I personally think that how we handle end of the month and how ChatGPT handles the end of the month when the ChatGPT assumes we, the rebalancing of the portfolio, whether they're on the end of the month or first trading date of the month. And this can cause these differences. Then we tried the ChatGPT 4 with advanced data analytics, so with the Python interpreter, and the results are nearly, nearly the same as the results with the manual Excel calculation. There is still a very, very small difference, but it's a really, really small one. Once again, we didn't dig exactly deeper, but it seems that the advanced data analytics in ChatGPT gives us the results that are very, very close to what we calculated in Excel. The same results are also for the inverse volatility uh, weighted asset allocation or risk parity asset allocation. Once again, the advanced data analytics did a quite good job. Let's have a quick summary. What can the ChatGPT large language models bring to us? So the older models before 3.5, including, they were not able to deal with more advanced calculations. It was just a chatbot. The new model with the plugins is uh, very interesting. Unfortunately, we cannot plot the results because you need to combine multiple plugins together and not all of the plugins have the capabilities that you need. So we, are, we were not able to plot the results. We just obtained the results in a numerical form. Tool called Advanced Data Analytics is the best. 
I mean, it's a really, as the name suggests, it's probably the best data analytics solution for ChatGPT at the moment. So it's really suited for the task that we tried. So you can debug, you can run a Python code, you can review the code, you can see if it's doing the intended work, you review the results, you can plot the results, etc. Et uh, so what's the final conclusion? I mean, so far we have just performed a relatively easy financial data analysis. So, I mean, it was very, very easy. A few lines of the code, but the advanced data analysis the code interpreter seems to be useful for a quick drafts. So what we see as the biggest value is that you can ask ChatGPT for directions, you can ask ChatGPT for ideas, and you can test these ideas very quickly in, inside ChatGPT. So you do not need to go from ChatGPT to some other environment to test the idea. So that's very, very great. The power is probably limited at the moment. I would not recommend it for large scale calculations. There's limited disk space, memory, etc., etc but it's a very very interesting potential new research toy for quants so i really recommend you to try advanced data analytics once again it can help you create a very very quick drafts and very very quick analysis of some ideas and new ideas and new concepts so that's very very useful that's the end of the current video i hope that you liked it all of the articles and all of the papers and uh, everything that i mentioned in this video is in the description of the video i hope that you liked it and uh, please subscribe to our channel please give us like it will help us a lot and I hope that you join me in the next analysis of academic paper or trading strategy or something uh, similar. So thank you very much and have a nice day. Interested? Then pick another video to learn more or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.